Steve Smiley over there. We're going to join them now. Uh, the next day is, but obviously when you when you can win and, and uh, move on to the championship, it's obviously really special. And, you know, these guys put in so much time, you know, not just during the season, but all year round. So, and a lot of people never get the chance even to play in a game like this. And so, like, even at halftime, we, we try to tell guys, like, can we get a little joy on our face? You know, and, and the thing is, sometimes when it matters so much to guys, and, and these are two examples, but our whole team, you know, you, you can just get wound so tight, you know, and you can try too hard. So, um, but no, it was a, it was a tremendous game. Uh, obviously, Portland State's really good, probably playing better than any, anybody in the league um, going into the game. Uh, we've had nightmares with them all year. They, they, they swept us during the year. And uh, first half was kind of more the same. They turned us over 13 times. It did not feel right. Um, but that's a credit to our guys to uh, find a way in the second half to settle down and, and make the winning plays that we needed to make. So I'm just really proud of our team. It was a, it was a big win. So. Thank you, Coach. We'll come back to you in just a moment. Now we'll open it up to media questions for just our players. Dalen, 30 points in the second half for you. Uh, what opened the door in the second half for you guys? Because you guys seemed a little uncomfortable offensively for Portland State, but just what opened that door in the second half for you guys to finally get going? Um, just getting off our heels. Like, the whole first half, the coaches and everybody saying, like, we're playing back on our heels. We just got to attack the pressure. That's the only way for it, us to, you know, get something going. Bodie, a lot of foul trouble for both teams tonight. So how do you guys sort of overcome, you know, a lot of players being in foul trouble? Yeah, I think for us, the coaches just preach all the time that, uh, we got to foul with our chest and, and ultimately stay down on stuff that we need to stay down for. And ultimately, it, it was it was some weird calls for us, but but we uh, we just tried to make the best of the situation and go from there. Dalen, they they uh, got uh, twenty two turnovers off of you. Uh, you only committed, or you only forced them to get ten. Uh, what are you guys gonna What are you guys gonna have to do going into the championship game to sort of help in terms of ball security? Um, just cleaning it up. Like we had some some turnovers that were just us playing too fast and them us letting us speed them up or us getting sped up by them. But just, you know, being more secure with the ball, being strong with it, and just being decisive. Uh, Bodie, going into this game, Portland State had only given up three three-pointers across their two uh, tournament games. Uh, was that something you wanted to sort of, you know, exploit? Did you think that, you know, you can sort of be on the uh, the other end of that and be able to go after them? With the yeah, I think for us, we got a lot of guys that can shoot a lot of threes and, and shoot threes very well. Um, so we're uh, us. That's just us trying to play our game, trying to get some more threes. Um, Drew Cooks, Housen, Don Connect. They they hit a lot of big shots for us tonight from three. So so ultimately, just seeing a couple threes go in for us is what is what helped us win that game. Culture and Wise Sky and Sports. Bodie, you hit that huge shot with like four seconds to go in Bozeman. That was almost such a great moment. And then they hit like a half quarter. So <laughs> I mean, how much do you want another shot at the Bobcats? Absolutely. I think I think. Um, we, we feel as though that um, us and them have been competing this whole year, even without playing. Uh, them being the one in the two, t or us being the one in the two seed for the most part, now we're the three. Um, so for us to lose that game the way we did, ultimately we want to show that, that that wasn't our best game. And um, ultimately, we're just trying to, to show that we can be the best team in the league. And Dylan, I talked to you in Missoula, and uh, you guys had this goal to get to this game. So now that you're here, how do you get it done? Same as it's been all year, just taking it game by game, you know, possession by possession, and just doing what we need to do to give ourselves the opportunity to win the game. Dalen, what's the most stressful part about playing Portland State defense? Because Coach said last night of you guys that Portland State likes to throw a, a thousand sets, you know, they have the full court pressure. Just what stresses you guys most about that defense? I mean, it's really like you can't really scout for it. You can't really, like, prepare for it because it's just, like, all over the place. They're running, jumping, and, you know, gambling is just – Kind of, you just got to figure it out, really. You just kind of, there's no set plan. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. Well, you, coach, if you could remain, well, open yeah. question for you. For you guys, yep. go. Good job, for fellas. Coach, coach uh, you guys only had six assists tonight. I was on the floor. I heard some, uh, I heard a lot of comments about, you know, the passing. What do you, uh, what do you think you guys can do better to, ensure that that's on par with what Montana State's going to throw at you? Well, you know, it, it just it's, it's a credit to Portland State. Uh, we're, we're one of the better assist teams in the country, and we're one, we're one of the better teams in not turning the ball over. However, uh, Portland State, again, like, like Dalen said, it just throws your plan out the window. You know, as a coach, you can't really control anything because, you know, you talk about, like, moving the pieces around, right? They're going to press on every shot. Uh, and even, even when you get a stop, Defensively, they're going to press on that and jam the rebound. So you can't ever stop and, hey, 
the two goes here, the three goes here, and let's run this cute little play. You just can't do it. And so I think and, and the thing, too, important to say is they're the only team in our league that plays like that. And so you see it two times out of 20 games, and that's a credit to them. That's why they're so hard to prepare for. But, you know, I, I, I'm not concerned about us um, having a, a huge issue with assists and turnovers. I think it's more a product of that game tonight. But I think over the, you know, the course of the year and the body of our work, that we'll be fine in that area. Um, obviously, the, the stat sheet in the uh, six assists and 22 turnovers is not good. But at the end of the day, too, uh, Portland State is such an anomaly in our league, the way they play. So we'll be fine. But at the same point in time, our guys know that you're playing with fire when you only have six assists and 22 turnovers. So we, we definitely need, need to do a better job of that. You just beat the toughest team in the league to prepare for. So yeah. how does that transition then work? I mean, it feels like you prepare for that team, it only gets easier after preparing for the toughest team to prepare for, right? Well, yes and no. I mean, you're also playing the number one seed and the team that won the championship. And we have a tremendous amount of respect for Montana State. They're really good. Um, great personnel. And, and, and they'll put you in different binds. We're Portland State puts you in the binds with trapping. You know, uh, Montana State, for example, now they're playing the two bigs together with Bello and, and, and Great Osibor. That is a problem for us. So, again, you know, it, it's, it's, you got to keep adjusting and figuring it out. The good thing about playing Montana State for us and for them as well is that we just played each other a week ago. And so, you know, it's still pretty fresh in all of our minds just in terms of strategy. You know, you don't have to dust off the scout from three months ago and try to figure it out. So um, so our, it, it, being fresh is good. But they're, they're really good. You know, they're playing at a high level. I know that Weber State game was a great great game tonight. Could have gone either way. But that's what this is all about, right? You guys have so many veteran players. So how do you hope those guys embrace the moment now that you're right here on the brink of the NCAA tournament? Yeah, you just, you know, again, you, you, you can't make it, you know, more than the moment uh, because when you do that, you start pressing and you start trying to do too much. And so it's, it just goes back to, again, like you just, all we're trying to do is win the possession, you know, and if you can win the possession on both offense and defense, if you can string those together, you're going to, you know, put yourself in a position down the stretch to win a game. But, you know, and, and that's the thing in this game tonight that we were doing way too much in the first half. They sped us up. We were going one on three, one on four, and, and it, was, it was a disaster. And luckily, our guys at halftime, we settled in. But you're right, you know, and, and uh, when you get to these games, you get to the championship, the pressure's on. You know, you're going to feel it. And, um, and it's going to, for us, it's going to feel like a road game. Montana State's got a million fans here. And, and, you know, for us, we've been good on the road all year long. So our, our guys, for whatever reason, going all the way back to the preseason playing, you know, at Arizona and this and that. Our guys have relished the moment to play in a hostile environment. So I think that our guys will be excited, but it's going to be a, it's going to be a big time battle. Coach, you guys have been in the semifinals the last couple of years, but what does it mean to finally get this program over the hump and into the Big Sky Finals? Yeah, it's huge. You know, it's huge. We, uh, you know, I, I've been in Northern Colorado six years, and um, you're right. We got to the semifinals. Uh, we had an epic game against Montana about five years ago. We were up five with 50 seconds to go and lost. And they ended up winning the championship. Um, we had a 10-second violation. We had an offensive foul in the backcourt, you know, pushing a guy. I mean, just it, it was it was it was a <laughs> it was unbelievable. So, um, to push over the hump and to get to this championship, you know, it means a lot. You know, just it's just everyone everyone wants to get there. Everyone wants to win. We always say winning is really hard, you know. And so to get over the hump, it's great. But at the same point in time, you know that. The journey and the mission is not over. You know, we're still looking at like, hey man, we got that ultimate mission that, that we've had, you know, since day one, and that's to try to find a way to cut down that net. Coach, obviously a lot of attention is going to be put on Dalen. You know, led the league in scoring. You know, all big sky first teamers. He's shown that he can drop 30 points and a half tonight. You know, what are you going to have to do knowing that uh, a team like Montana State is really going to key in on him and really make him the focal point of their defense? That's a great question, and that's the beauty of our team. That's what I love about our roster, just even with our, you know, our starters, where it's like, all right, you know, I mean, Matt, Matt Johnson, if we're just talking about scoring, you know, Matt Johnson can score 25 in a heartbeat. Uh, Bodie Hume had 30 at Colorado State. You know, we, we have a lot of guys. Drew Cookshausen had almost 30 at Southern Utah. So, again, it's not trying to, to shoulder the load. Dalen in the second half had an unbelievable half, made those shots. But I also am so proud of him. There was a possession. We were only up four. And Dalen drove it, and the whole team rallied to him, and he had Drew Cookshouse in that left corner, and he threw it to Drew, and Drew's the best shooter in the league, in my opinion, and Drew knocked that three down to take it from four to seven. That was the play of the game when Dalen saw the double or triple coming up, and, he's, and he shared it with his teammate. So there's going to be a lot of pressure on him. Um, but again, you know, it, it's, 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 it's bigger than, well, you know, can you score 20 or 30 in the game? It's however the game goes, what's presented to you. 
Um, let's let's take that and let's go with it. So, you know, we always tell our guards, you know, your only job as a guard is to put two on the ball and then get rid of it because we got shooting, we got spacing all over the place. And so, uh, but with that being said, Dalen did have 30 tonight in the second half. It was amazing. So, um, I'm sure they'll they'll be keen on him for sure. Coach, a six man rotation really for you tonight. Six guys near trip near uh, yeah. 30 minutes. Do you think that's sustainable, and how will that affect you for the next 24 hours going into the Montana State game? Yeah, you know, that's that's what was nice about, you know, last night, the Eastern Washington game. Uh, we did a really good job of we, – we're playing nine guys, obviously, on the, on, on the box score. And uh, we've had games as, as the game presents itself where Jamel Melvin might get to 10, 12 minutes. Same thing with Zach Block and, and same thing with Bryce Kennedy. And so is it sustainable over the course of, uh, you know, multiple games? No. And that's what we've told our guys. We can't win this thing with six guys. But – Outside of those six guys, you know, and Dalton Connect played starters minutes tonight. He had a tremendous game. But outside of those six guys, Jamel, Zach, and Bryce, they have helped us win, including our faith in them. Against Eastern Washington, we needed one stop, and I put Jamel and Bryce in there because they're two of our best defenders. And when Dalen got a shot blocked by Ethan Price and they had that breakaway, Bryce did a good job uh, building the wall, and Jamel Melvin made the block. So we have a lot of confidence in all those guys. But um, the way the game went today, and we were playing catch-up, and just the way it went, it just kind of it, it just kind of dissolved into those six guys, and they did a great job with it. But uh, we, all all nine guys will play for sure. Thanks, everyone. If you guys have any more questions for Northern Colorado, you can take them right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Yep.